Okay, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be installing an Enermax 500 watt power supply into an N200 case made by Cooler Master. It's a real simple job, uh, just a few screws uh, and some orientation and you're good to go. Let's get to it. All right, so as we can see here, we've got an Enermax fan. Now there is an exhaust fan here. Now that exhaust fan is to exhaust the air out of the case. So you wouldn't wanna put it like this, right? You're gonna, as you can see on the bottom of this N200 case, you've got a grill here, and uh, basically that's where the air is gonna come out of. So that's where you're gonna wanna put your power supply. The power supply on this particular case goes on the bottom. You're just gonna slide it in down there. And there it is, okay? And on the back, you're gonna put in uh, four screws. Now, this particular case, uh, as, as all cases, it's gonna take these type of screws, and these are called your 632 screws. The threads are a little bit bigger. It's what you're gonna screw in your hard drives with. Anyway, let's pop those suckers in. So yeah, the screws are the 632. Usually there's only two types of screws uh, that you put in a computer case. Uh, the other ones uh, are called the M3 screws. They're more for like CD-ROMs and things like that. But uh, uh, on this particular job, oh, make sure we put them in the right holes there. There we go. All right. We don't have to tighten it too tight, just finger tight, tight enough uh, that you can get it tight with two fingers type of thing. And we got one screw to go. And that's it. So we have the one, two, three, four that's securing it. On power supplies, normally you'll want, uh, when you're ready to start it, you've got the switch there, uh, your on switch, and the circle is off. So that's just the safety feature. And inside, what we're gonna do is here you've got your 24 pin connector. Okay, we're gonna put it into the 24 pin connector there. Okay, let me make sure that's good. And then on the corner there, we've got a four pin connector. And I'm just trying to find that four pin connector here. And where the heck is that four pin connector? Here it is, oh, no, that's not it. That's a six pin connector. Uh, it's another six pin connector and that's an eight pin connector and you know what I think where's that eight pin connector ah okay so when you have an eight pin connector like this okay see eight pins so what are we gonna do we need a four pin well, this particular one splits right in half so as you can see there's a little line down the middle not really obvious on this one so I couldn't even tell but you can really tell on the other side. You can see the little grooves. So they, they'll usually slide apart from each other on this particular model of power supply. And this one is stiff. Let me see here. But they definitely will separate. So let's see here. And there we go. Actually, this one uh, actually pops into place. It doesn't really separate. It's got these two little hooks in there. So it actually pops in and pops out. Normally they slide, they slide back and forth, but this particular one's a little different design. And there we go, we have a four pin connector. So let's make sure that fits. If it's the wrong connector, it will not fit. <clears throat> all right, and there you have the four pin connector. Now all that's left is, uh, basically you've got all these other connectors for hard drives and CD-ROMs. Uh, so you got your uh, Molex power connectors, your Molex four pin. You've also got your SATA power connectors. Now those are gonna to go to your CD-ROMs or your hard drives. But anyway, that's all there is to it, to this. All right, and that is how you install a power supply, quick and dirty, and, and it's pretty easy as you can see. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.